Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3, episode 22. Okay. We are still in the bog. And I think I'm pretty sure that the only thing we have left to do is check out the surroundings of this hut and then go in. Well, tea house, I suppose. And there is there is an area over here, but I'm pretty sure that that's just... Yeah, we can't get up there. Okay. Uh, that is that looks really cool and awful as well <laughs> there are actual birds caught in that spider's web that must be a big spider okay so what do we need well possibly we might have a big fight on our hands so we might as well check out all of these spell scrolls I know people someone suggested that I um, I use aid. Aid. Okay, there it is. So instead of instead of prayer of healing, we'll put aid in. Okay, that does sound pretty cool. Hold person. That's pretty cool. What's the chance of her actually getting it though? Probably not great. Probably not. But let's get rid of create or destroy water and put hold person in. Okay. I don't mind giving a guiding bolt. Because it's a distance thing, I don't really want Shadow Heart to get too close. Although, having said that, her armor class is the highest. So maybe. Yeah, Lazelle could put Shield of Faith on herself. Shadow Heart could put it on someone else. It lasts until a long rest, so there's nothing stopping me from putting that on now, I'm guessing. I'm hoping that this is how it's going to work anyway. Let's do that. Okay, so our, our hit points have increased, supposedly. Okay, and now uh, if I take that off, I can put in you can put in shield of faith. Okay. Yeah. I am probably going to need to get my familiar back, so again. I'm going to have to uh, do that. What did I just get rid of? Mage armor, wasn't it? Oh well. Okay, let's find your familiar again. I do want a raven because of the potential to blind. I am not certain how hey, that would work. On a hag, I don't know. But she could just immediately take it down, so I might immediately lose my familiar again. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm trying something. Um, my expeditions for Oh no, maybe, maybe I should put protection from evil and good on. Uh, yes, pressing T does allow me to read things a little bit better. That's awesome. Can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. Ah, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's something I should actually be worried about then. Okay, well. Damn. Let's remove Misty Step. And we'll put protection from evil and good in. Thunder Wave if she gets close. Mage Armor, naturally. But I'm probably just going to use Magic Missile. Assuming she doesn't have... 
shield. Well, she can't have shield because nobody has shield. Okay, good. And a Starion. I don't think his spells can actually be changed. No. Okay. So. Hold person. I can cast that spell. <sighs> can you? She can cast the spell. Okay. Oop. What about a Starion? He can cast it. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, let's quickly get rid of these camp supplies. Okay, that should be all of the camp supplies gone from him. Uh, false resistance would be nice, but no. Potions, right. He has a regular potion of healing and a potion of greater healing. Does anyone else have not have a potion of healing? Shadow Hat doesn't have one. Lazel has two, okay. Don't touch me. Uh, <laughs> wow. Am I still neutral with him? Wow, after feasting on my blood as well. God damn, Astarian, what does it take to make you happy? Gosh. Alright. He has a potion of speed as well. We might end up having to use those. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I don't expect the fight to go well. <laughs> I do expect that we will probably wipe, but if we do, then I will, I'll just start off again from, uh, I'll show you, I'll start off again from the, the doorstep so that we don't have to go through all of this preparation again. Hopefully it won't be necessary though. Maybe we will look out. <laughs> but if we don't, then, you know, to avoid all of this unnecessary prep time, we'll just do that. Okay, let's split this stack. Everybody has some sort of healing. That's good. Uh, so, the hill giant's strength. That would increase strength to 21. Would that be a good thing to give to Lazelle? Her, her weapons are strength based, aren't they? I'm just not sure if she gets any... any bonuses. But that's just is that just ability checks I'm going to have to use this <laughs> I'm actually going to have to use my uh, log here well why not why not I'll just I'll split it and I'll give her one of these potions and we will see how this works And that is until long rest. Good. So she must be a very hard hitter now. Hopefully that will that will definitely help. In that same vein, should I really should I give the same to Shadow Heart? I don't know. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna be using most of my spells myself. God, and I'm, a, I'm bloodless as well. So that's not going to be particularly great for me, but whatever. Yeah, I might just end up taking a potion of speed and hoping that it'll do something for me, but we'll get there. We will get there. She needs dexterity for her weapons. Uh, so does he. Okay, it might be a better idea to give this to Shadowheart then. Sure. 
Okay, so she has better bonus to attack rolls now as well. Hopefully. Hopefully that will be a very, very good thing. Okay, so we have a scroll for protection from evil and good. Lasts until a long rest, but it's concentration. So does that mean that I can't... I can't give it to everyone. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Well, I kind of need it on Lazelle. I think. The last thing I need is her being charmed. Or frightened, I suppose. Can we... Cast it on Lazelle? Okay. And I've got an arcane ward. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> All right. I'm not. I'm not seeing where the concentration thing is, though. Am I? Right. Okay. I am concentrating on it. All right. I don't suppose. Well, I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, she lost her arcane ward, but she's gained mage armor, and she got her arcane ward back. Okay, you know what, fine. <laughs> I'm good with that, that is fine. I don't think there's anything I can really do to help other people. Not if that's something she's concentrating on. Looks like I won't be able to do it to everyone, which is what I was hoping to do, so that's a shame. Never mind. Well, he's got a scroll of hold person, so we can at least try that. There's no point in putting the potion, the poison on. I think that's going to be. It only lasts ten turns. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. Another step forward. It sure is. And yes, I am leaving the backpack. We're not going to get it this time. We might get it later. Depending. I hope he doesn't turn hostile if we attack the hag. <laughs> that would be a very annoying. A fetid smell Oop. assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. <laughs> Drink from the well. No, no, thank you. I think we're good. <laughs> why? Why would we drink from the well? That's weird. Maybe. Oh, oh. Okay. Grilled brother ribs. Well, that's absolutely. Ah, another toad teapot. She had one of those back. At the camp. Okay, there's a potion of greater healing there. And an antidote. Well, we're going to have to... At least we'll have something to pick up <laughs> when we kill her. Assuming we do kill her. Ooh, letter from M. Well, well, well. Okay. Oh, she's got a flower pot. That's lovely. There's nothing in the wheelbarrow. Can't do anything with the bucket. Well, we probably could, but I don't want to. Damn it. Fine, we'll check the pile of bones before we go in. A bone. I'm taking it. Cool. Okay. It's a couple of baskets. Let's check the basket then. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Can't move them. Alright. I guess it's enchanted against theft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And ah, there we go. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all. 
You'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. Do you try to intimidate everyone who comes to your door? I'm not here to bargain. Oh, the wizard thinks she's smart because she can read. <laughs> you know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. So this is Marina. I wish I had some good news for you. Keep that hole under your nose shut. Or things will get messy. You know what that sounds like to me? Leverage. What is it? What's going on? Your brothers came looking for you. I guess Auntie Ethel didn't appreciate that. They're dead. That can't be true. Everybody disapproves. Auntie well, Ethel. whatever. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You monster! The deal is off! Enough! Away, would you? <laughs> last silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you! You'll regret sticking your nose in my business. I surely will. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Definitely regretting it. Oh, wow. Okay, so. Oh, God, I can't see through the roof. Okay, there we go. That was very interesting. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, people are kind of annoyed with me yet again. I don't see why. I'm not sure what I could have. Everybody seems to be very, very uptight. Okay. Looks like Lazelle is going to have to maybe dash. Yeah, Nald Tea House, absolutely. Um she has a hundred and twelve hundred and twelve hit points. Dear Lord. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, I could. God damn it. Fine. She can give herself some protection. That should put her to armor class 18. Okay. She can't move any further, but she is the closest. Suppose I could dash. I kind of want her to come closer, but considering what she is, she might just use a spell. Let's dash. And we can't attack, but she could get close enough to her to do something. And there okay uh, sure action surge we might as well start off strong so main hand attack or lacerate it's a con save which she's probably going to be really good at but let's try it anyway Critical miss, okay. Well, that, yeah. Good start, Lizelle. You, you really showed her. Okay. Okay. Let's get a bit closer. Uh, no, in fact, you can go to there. Have to keep going. Yeah, okay, we can see her now. I want to know, I do want to know. Let's try a piercing shot. Just because. Miss, of course it is, of course. All right, well, never mind. And 
end. She could shield of faith onto someone else. I'm thinking Astarian. Put shield of faith on Astarian then. It's just a little something. Yeah. Okay. And then Astarian should be able to oh, he's not going to get close enough. No way. If he gets in here, he might I be able to get. Just walk into homes now. This gets better and better. Well, it is a hag's home, but that shouldn't be a problem. He should be able to get sneak attack. Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Wow. Wow. Everything is missing. Perfect. Why not? Try and hide. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Oh, and she's gone invisible. That's lovely. Well, that's interesting. So, <clears throat> that's a shame. I was kind of hoping. Ah, uh, oh well. Has she actually moved then? Because it doesn't. Eh, we'll see. Well, you can come out behind Astarian, I think. Over to there. Yeah. And maybe... Bly? Down to behind Lazelle. Ah, uh, no. No movement speed. Not enough movement speed. Okay, okay. That's fine. Uh, hide then. Why not? And I guess we're just going to have to wait for her to attack because I don't think I have anything that will reveal No Well, actually I could try a bulb. Maybe that'll pull It should pull her in Try it. Why not? Uh, I hit something. I think it was the wood, though. <laughs> no. Okay. She may. She might still just be in that same area and not have moved. Damn. Well, never mind. It would be pretty weird if she didn't move, though. I don't think my armor class is going to change if I switch to my bow. No. Okay. Well. That's it. Yeah. Let's come down here then. Just so that we're not all together. And I Yes, that's it. So, can she not just sweep? Well, she's got more than 33 hit points, so there's no way. Gosh, that's annoying. Um, no, there's nothing to shove. I don't know what to... I don't think there's anything I can do except for move. And if she gets a, an attack of opportunity, hopefully she'll reveal herself. No? Okay. That's annoying. Okay. Well, I guess that's it then. We should probably go. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Whatever. But 
That's definitely going to hit some of my people. Yep, her, her. Can you not move a little bit closer this way? No. Oh, okay, never mind. Astarian, you can move a little further this way though. Okay. Oh, nope, that's that's not what I wanted, it was this. Okay. It's gonna hit my uh, raven. There we go. There we go, okay. Honestly, so she didn't move. Kind of annoying, but we're all good. All right. I don't want to get her closer, but she does have a good main hand attack. And she has the strength to back it up now as well. Let's go there then. And end turn Astarian. You should be able to get a sneak attack. 75%, definitely. Why are you threatened? No, she's threatened. Okay, good. All right, brilliant. He's no longer hiding, but he did get the first hit. <laughs> the very first hit. Uh, let's see if he can hide. Good boy. And come a little bit closer over here. Great. That's something at least. Uh, break illusion on stone wall. And she's leaving. Can't have gone far. Uh, okay. Well, that was rubbish. Okay. You know, I actually thought this would be a much shorter thing. <laughs> I thought we'd just come in and kill her, but all right, I'll get killed either way. Okay, Auntie Ethel waved her hand and Marina vanished. What happened to her? Auntie Ethel, the green hag, disappeared through her fireplace. If we follow her, perhaps we'll find Marina. Sure. Uh, but first, crude chest. Try it. Wait, wait, wait. Astarian. <laughs> Come over here. They won't see me coming. Well, that, that's fine. Just don't hide anymore. Come on, I need you to get that chest open. Ah, lots of bronze necklaces and 18 gold. That's fine. Autumn crocus bundles, spoiled treacle tart. Ooh. Okay, I'm hoping that I'll be able to come back here. Ooh, herb hanger. An iron torch. Uh, okay. Bottles, bottles. Ah! Portion of animal speaking. We're totally taking that. Don't, don't walk through the fireplace like that, honestly. Anything could have happened to you. Portion of healing. Uh, oh God, let me, let me actually select it. Thank you. Where are we now? Portion of greater healing. Totally getting that. Absolutely. Mistress of the Night and Friends. Oh. There was once a beautiful woman. Men and women alike travelled across the land to earn her hand in marriage, but none could win her heart. Her mother despaired, for she wished for her daughter to find love and happiness. And then her mother died. The woman cried and cried. Her suitors stopped calling. Her friends stopped writing. And still she cried. You poor child, Shah whispered in her ear. They only wanted you for your beauty, for your charm, for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms, none care for you, none but I. The woman spoke to Shah, who listened. She prayed to Shah, who answered. For the first time in her life, the woman had a true friend. And then Shah asked her to take a vial, a small vial, an innocent vial. 
She took the vial to a man. The man filled it with a liquid and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Sha to love her, to be proud of her. And then people became sick. People died. But Sha loved her, and the woman loved Sha. Now men and women alike travel across the land to see her, not because she is beautiful, not because she is charming, but because she is a high priestess of Sha, and her word is law. Ah, uh, okay. Well, well, well. So, is this... Is that kind of the hag's backstory? Because <laughs> there was a well outside. Well, we're stealing it. There was a well, and it was a, a very foul-smelling one, so... Maybe. Okay. Can we actually reach the herb hanger? Yes, but there's nothing on there. Okay. We can use the ladder. That's good. I actually want to go outside, though. I want to... I saw there was a, a portion of healing outside, and I want it. Let's check the broken cupboard. Someone check the broken cupboard. Can't reach it. Okay. Never mind then. We shall not bother with the broken cupboard. I've got a burlap sack right there. Yep, yep. Interesting. A wardrobe. Someone can try the wardrobe anyway. Lords of Madness. Uh, yeah, no goo. Okay. Let's come out here and grab this potion. I want to p take the teapot as well though. <laughs> letter from M. This letter begins in an elegant hand but soon descends into a furious scrawl. Ethel. Forces are at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed at least four of their agents. None have talked. Not yet at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleating of your ridiculous sheep, but if you catch even a whisper, send word immediately. M. Okay. Bleating sheep. Does she... Is that referring to the red caps? Because they were bleating. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you can take those rose ribs as well. Why not? And the antidote. I think there's mine, really though. anything else. Broken cupboard. Oh god, just a skull. Nothing in the basket. Okay. That's fine. So, I'm assuming that that's... Well, I'm assuming that's where she's gone. It must be. It's the big, glowing purple thing. It must be where she's gone. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get back in then. But there is an upstairs to this. Whispweed bundle. Okay. Open crates. A locked door. Can you lock pick it? Get some guidance. Oh, what? Difficulty class two. Well, you never know. Yeah, look at that. Natural one. <laughs> wow. Wow. Let's use some thieves tools. Oh, and he's happy. Starion's vampiric hunger has been temporarily sated. Plus one to all attack rolls, saving throws, and most ability checks. Cool. Yeah, there we go. We got one unlocked door. Okay, open it. Is there anything out there? It's just a way down. But it is the way down to this... This thing. That's good to know. Anything around here? Potion of animal speaking! Oh my god. This is where they're all hiding. I'm so glad we came here. White bread, butter bun. Chest. Elixir of hill giant strength, a potion of healing and a potion of speed. Wow. Uh, 
Okay, I probably should be just running straight after it. Oh, oh my god, pig's head. An Amnion delicacy. Well, that's disgusting. That's more like it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not what I was... Well, never mind. Never mind. Oh, a crystal ball. And uh, what was that? Gilded. A gilded mortar and pestle. Gilded tools and no luxury for any serious alchemist. While wood is hard to clean, metal often binds to its contents, sometimes with disastrous consequences. A thin layer of gold solves both these problems. Let's take it. Sure. The Purged Palette Midwinter Edition. A widely printed series of dwarven recipes. Potion of invisibility and some gold. Sweet. Uh, we can come back for the food. We are not hunting for uh, camp supplies right now. <laughs> Got a spinning wheel. Alright, let's try the chest. A dark ring. Okay, and 26 gold. Potion of healing. Where is that potion of healing? Where? Okay, sure. Wherever it was, we've got it now, so it doesn't matter. i got a standing mirror. Can't pick it up. Okay. Nightlight frond. Okay. Uh, a goblet, a knife, a mug, a tea house key. Nice. And a tin plate. Okay. Pears. Potion of greater healing. Oh my gosh. This is a lot of healing. I'm guessing that she wasn't actually trying to hurt me. And that's why we're getting all of this healing now. And also why we didn't die. That's definitely, definitely worrying me. <laughs> Starion, are you close to... Oh my gosh, she's very close to being over encumbered already. Let's send the stuff to camp then. Drop the cauldron, we don't need that. Okay, let's split the potion of healing, the greater potion of healing, and who had one? You have one. You can definitely keep one. Okay, it's you two that need one. Careful, I mind. Cute, very cute. <laughs> okay. You can have one. And you can have one. Okay. Good. Alright. So, do we follow immediately after or do we check out this? I kind of want to check out that. So let's see if we can do that. We will get to following her through the fireplace. I just really need to know what the heck this even is. No perception thing? No nothing? No? Okay. Hands off petal. Uh, okay. Ethel disapproves, dearie. Disadvantage on wisdom checks. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to sort her out before... Um, before trying anything with that then. Okay. Well, never mind then. Only four, four turns to go until hands off petal is gone and then we will go through. I'm assuming all this stuff will still be here once we've, uh, once we've left. Yep, go on. Okay, there we go. Don't burn, please. Okay. Nothing here. Just 
still going to check around just in case. No, nothing. All right. Good to know. Hope I'm not supposed to be doing this very quickly because I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go down the stairs then. Oh. Okay, away, away. Lauren. Don't look, don't. Okay, okay. The fireplace revealed a hidden passage under Auntie Ethel's home, leading to a dark, twisted lair. Alright. Bone cap. Let's have that. Sweet. Will she have trapped her lair? Is that something that's likely to have happened? Don't know. Can't reach the rogue's morsel. How dare. Come on. Oh, really? Well, why have it there then? Oh, please. Please. Nope. Can't reach the rogue's morsel. Let's come on down. Saving. Okay. Well, at least we've got we've got an auto save if this goes poorly. Okay. I can't you are oh, as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out. Tell me where Marina is. Has that Riggler eaten your brain already? Leave. Oh, you'll end up in tonight's stew. You'll go nicely with Marina. She's already marinating. Ah. Well. I don't particularly want to leave. I am I have already declared my intention to get my stuff back. <laughs> so yeah, I am I'm in it. I'm in it and I'm not leaving. Even if this is a what really... That? I don't know, what is that? What's what? Where? What's what? God damn it. Up oh, the skull, okay. The top of the skull is cracked with a lattice of shallow fractures. My sweet Callum, whose beloved asked that his beauty never fade. Uh... Okay, so he's perpetually staring in a mirror, I'm guessing. As you edge closer to the mirror, a pale face appears, contorted in fear. Fists slam against the mirror's surface again and again. Woof. Huh. Burning. Can't reach. Okay, well, can we... Uh, attack the mirror. Yes, we can. Okay. Let's do that then. And I've been burned. <laughs> okay. Well, as long as it's just me and it's not Lazelle, we're good. My sweet Callum, who's beloved no, okay, well, we'll pick it beauty. Up, sure. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh, okay. Magran's head. The head of this elf is ice cold, mouth frozen mid scream, eyes wide with abject terror. Oh, okay, fine. My darling Magran. She wished for the mind of a genius, but that silly head crossed me. Okay. Sure, I'd stretch as well if I were you. Why not? Can I pick it up as well? Oh my gosh! Oh, Mag Magrin succumbed to death. Okay. Damn. Maybe that was the bad. That was a, a maybe not a good thing to do then. Uh. Oh god, <laughs> that's disgusting. Well, it's happened now, so sure. I'm just ruining everything, aren't I? I'm guessing these people, yeah. Watery eye, oh my god. A petrified person, dear lord. Ooh, rogue's muscle. 
Well, well, well. What is gnarly cauldron? Yeah. Oh, up. Did you drink? You better not have drunk anything. Honestly. Wooden bowl, earthen bottle. Nope, okay, nothing good. Well, let's have a check of this eye then. And a blinded elf. Good lord. Ooh, a gold necklace. And six gold. Sure. Let's talk a look at the watery eye. This poor dear wish never to lay eyes on her family again. Oh, really? Yep, no, I can't pick up the eye then. <laughs> okay. Family portrait. The image of two dwarven boys has been carefully chiseled into the stone. Their smiles do not reach their eyes. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Oh. Petrified. That's something that restoration can change. Uh, greater restoration though, and I don't have anything like that, so... Yeah. Well, sucks to be you, Guy. I don't think I can do anything for you. Not that I'm doing anything for anyone else. <laughs> but, hmm. Pouch. Let's have a look at the pouch. Uh, basic poisons. Okay. Whispering masks. Studded shield Stop. and an hourglass. Please. Oh god. Let's. Pat of the flock. Wait. Auntie Ethel welcomes Wait. you, dearie. I don't think I really want to. Don't I don't want to pick look. it up. But. Don't. Examine. Stop. Heck no. Okay. Please. Yep, Please. no. That's definitely not. Hourglass. Sand steadily slips down the glass Wait. tube, each Wait. grain marking the passage of time as if it were nothing. My huh? gentle... Oh. You feel crushing waves of fear as the presence within the door recoils. It can't let people through. Not again. What do you mean, not again? What happened last time? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him, dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles, the man's remaining flesh twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Oh, dear lord. Three, you feel it cry. No, we're not afraid. Well, we kind of are, but we're here to kill her anyway. A scene appears in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric marching through the door, shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons brandished, they charge into the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for thirty more years, Pecker. Ah, okay. Is there any other way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. I can't have failed. <laughs> Let's Damn it. Let's try let's try persuasion. You'll be free when we take care of that hag. Can you guide yourself? Yes, good. Try it. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay. Sweet. You see the hag. She walks through the door, its form shimmering. The lightest touch of hope brushes your mind as the presence within retreats. Okay. Well, I actually wanted to look at this hourglass. My <laughs> gentle Lauren. He wished to know what was to come. Away. Okay, let's see if we can speak to him. 
No! Don't look. Mustn't look, mustn't see. Get a hold of yourself. What's wrong with you? I see it. I see what's to come. You realize there's magic at work. Some type of spell. An illusion. Me. Dead. Dead. Flesh rotten, bone shining. It's just an illusion. It's not real. Lies. Lies. I see it. See truth. See death. All future. This is a powerful fear spell, but it's just an illusion. Probably. No. Real. Real. Knife twisting. Bone raking. Skull splitting. Heart. Gods. Don't hurt me. Oh, please. Please. Please, please, please. <laughs> Speak in my mother tongue and try to calm him. Sure, let's do that. Trick, trick, there's a monster, monster, oh, mind dripping, flesh peeling, my player. Damn, that's what he sees for my future? That doesn't bode well. <laughs> uh, I'm not a mind player. No, no, mind player, get away, get away. Okay, well. Don't look. Don't yeah, no intention of letting that happen. Okay, he's got mirrors everywhere. Stop. Please. Can I take the mirrors? I can't pick it up. Okay. Can't pick up items. Away. Away. What do you mean can't pick up items? Or does that just mean that I can't pick up Don't that item? Okay. Look. About the studded shield Don't. then. A thief. Who tried to steal from Auntie? Stop. Now the good little guards Please. my home. Okay. So these whispering Away. masks. Away. What does that mean? What are they? I'm pretty sure I don't, don't want to look. pick don't. them up. That would be a bad thing, wouldn't it? That would be a bad thing. Let's see if we can't get through the door then. You feel crushing waves of fear as oh, the wait, presence within I've already the tried door recoils. This. Is this because I was doing this with the um, Shadow Heart first time? I'm going to do the same thing again then. Images flash. Okay. Not afraid. Soon appears in your mind. Uh, okay, I mean it. The door through. stays silent. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. Okay, I can see through you. I can just walk right in. You see the hag, eyes bright with glee as she sets fire to the door. With a jerk, you're pulled from the vision. The presence within shrinks, begging you not to run through it. Uh. Don't look. Nope, come on. Don't! There we go. Stop. Come on. There we go. Okay, bone cap. And bone cap. And I do have uh, an enemy. Mask of Terror. Uh, Mask of Vengeance. Okay. Mask of Regret. Yeah. I think I'm glad I didn't pick up those masks, but what if wearing the masks would let them, would let me walk past them without, without problems? God, I don't know. I do not need another fight before we actually get to Auntie Ethel, though. That's, that's annoying. Uh, is there actually anything? Is there anything up there? Can I get to that? I don't know. I think so. Oh, there's a chest right there. God damn it. <laughs> and I can't tell. I think that's a way through. That is a way through and there's noxious fumes. Oh my god.
Okay. But that's that's a dead end. Okay. Yeah. I can't get any higher. Does that say I can't get any higher? Because it kind of looks like I should be able to. Well. Never mind. Okay. Swarming toad stool. Try it. Sweet. Uh, Starion, can you sneak? No. Okay. <laughs> sneak attack one of these people, please. Hey, we were surprised. Awesome. Uh, someone got a failed wisdom. Hiding failed. Okay, okay. That's fine. He's not gonna get. He is gonna get another sneak attack. Good. But that was a miss. Okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> 